What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student and also a biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And in this video, I'll be giving you guys five things that I honestly wish I knew before starting biomedical science. So if you're starting biomedical science soon or you're thinking about starting it and you want to get a feel of what it's like or maybe some motivation, then hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. But before I start the video, I'll make a quick announcement and say that all of the notes that I used uh, for medical school in first, second, and third year uh, are all finally up on my website and a lot of these notes in particular the ones I made in first year in the modules foundations of biomedical science one and two a lot of these notes were identical to the notes that I made for biomedical science so if you like all of that a link to check out my notes will be down in the description below without further ado let's get started okay so the first thing that I wish I knew before I started biomedical science was I honestly wish I knew just how much coursework they'd be and I don't say this to scare you guys but honestly I was so surprised when I found out just how much coursework they'd be. I spoke about this in my video where I compared uh, biomedical science with medicine, but honestly, there's always coursework they needed doing. Every single month, every single week, there was either an essay to do, there was um, a presentation to give, there was you know a lab report to write up. There was always, always coursework to be working on, and you were always busy throughout the year. So at least in my university, there was never really a prolonged period of time where we had nothing to do, where we could just you know go out with our friends, have fun, and not worry about work that is you know that's waiting that's pending but literally almost every single week including the winter holidays including our reading weeks we almost always had an at least an essay or something else to be working on and i really wish i knew that beforehand because if i knew that before biomedical science i would really have taken the time to work on my essay writing skills to work on my presentation skills to work on all of the skills needed to do well in these assignments before i even started biomed compared to medicine at least at king's college london we literally have almost no coursework at all like of course we have to work for our exams we have to score well in our in our written exams and also our practical exams but in terms of coursework we almost have no coursework at all which makes the majority of the year pretty chilled you know apart from going to our lectures apart from going to the hospitals and keeping up to date with our theory and knowledge there isn't too much stress in terms of coursework whereas in biomed there was there was low level of stress throughout the entire year and i really wish i knew that before starting and the second thing that i really wish before starting biomed was just how much anxiety it would cause me and i don't mean to scare this to you guys i'm literally just talking about me personally a lot of my friends you know cruised through it very easily a lot of them found it very chilled but for me personally i had a lot of anxiety go through biomedical science and the reason why is because i really want to get into medicine you know so that meant that every piece of coursework i submitted every exam that i did meant so much to me you know if i messed up one exam then it would you know it could potentially you know Im impact my future it could impact my application in medicine every single thing that i submitted with my name on it meant so much to me and waiting for the results every you know month to get that essay back you know to get the results back from the coursework you did was really really anxiety inducing as well as that as well well, I say at least 40% of our year wanted to do medicine, which made it so competitive. Knowing that a lot of people sat around you also want to apply to medicine will be a competition for the application. That really gave me a lot of anxiety and the amount of competition that was in biomed was really quite crazy, or at least in my university. I honestly wish I could go back in time in biomed and just relieve myself of this anxiety and let myself know that actually, if you don't do well in one piece of coursework, it isn't the end of the world. It won't impact your application to medicine. Your application to medicine or to a PhD or to a master's program whatever you want to apply to is made up of a number of things so doing bad in one assignment and not getting a first in one assignment is not the end of the world and i wish i can go back in time and learn to deal with my anxiety read books like the power of now and just really try and control my anxiety because doing bad in an exam is very real not getting into medicine that's very real but the anxiety that you go through for the entire year worry about not getting into the next thing that you want to do all of those things don't actually matter until you know you're until you actually apply so i wish i can go back in time and tell myself kenji you need to assignment that's something you have to do but going through the anxiety of doing this assignment going through the anxiety of making application medicine that all doesn't have to happen that all is something you choose to do you choose to make yourself anxious you don't need to be anxious just do the work work hard and your future will come eventually because we can never deal with things in the past we always deal with problems in the present so if you have an essay right now that's something you need to do in the present focus on that don't be anxious about it and the future will eventually come and when the future eventually does come you will have the ability to deal with whatever you need to do in that moment so I wish I could tell myself that a few years back. The next thing that I really wish I knew before starting biomedical science is that it would be the best time of my life, hands down. Like I know I've said a few things here that may scare you, they may make you think twice, but I can honestly say full heartedly and wholeheartedly that studying biomedical science was the best decision I ever made in my life and was the funnest decision I ever made. I really enjoyed the course. You know, biomedical science, like fair enough, not everything was applicable to me, not everything I enjoyed, but 
as a whole, as a majority, I love the course, it was a beautiful course. I learned so much about science, about medicine, about uh, research, so much. I appreciate that degree so, so much. And going through the degree as well, made me meet the most amazing people ever, my bestest friends ever. Um, I went through so many experiences that really shaped who I am now, that really made me the person I am today, and it really, really matured me and prepared me for medicine. So if you wanna do medicine, or you wanna do a PhD or a master's, whatever you, you, know, you plan to do later on, Honestly, the experience of going through biomedical science will be the best time of your life. You know, university in general, going to university is more than just about the academics. It's more than just about getting a degree. Of course, biomedical science was great, but the actual process of, you know, struggling and going through the degree and also being there with your friends and making friends and, you know, enjoy your time at university was the best time of my life ever. So I really hope this doesn't put you off from applying to biomedical science. It was hands down the best time of my life. In conclusion, I got a degree out of it. I really enjoyed my degree. I met the best people ever. I traveled the world and I always, always would have much preferred doing a degree like that rather than working a job at 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's the next thing I wish I knew that was coming for me. And the next thing I really wish I knew before starting Biomed was that I really honestly wish I was prepared for how much the degree would demand for me. Like biomedical science is a hard degree and I really hate when people say that biomedical science is BTEC medicine. I really hate the medics that say that everyone who does biomedical science is just people who fail to get into medical school or people who just aren't as good as medical students because that is so not true. Biomedical science was challenging. It challenged me and made me grow in so many different ways and in lots of ways that medicine doesn't. Because I didn't get into medical school, I kind of went into biomedical science chilling. I thought that, okay, fair enough, you know, med medical school would be hard, but biomedical science wouldn't be. And of course it is really important to chill sometimes and to, you know, spend some time meeting people and, you know, going out there and enjoying the university experience. But I approached it a bit too chill. And looking back now, I really wish I did not underestimate the degree. Of course, I changed and I started second year and third year and worked extremely hard in the last two years. But I really wish I could go back in time and know exactly like what is coming, know exactly how much it's going to demand from me and really prepare myself for that. Because dealing with that would have been a lot easier had I known that. So if you're going to biomed, expect the best time of your life, hands down, but also expect that there will be a lot of coursework. There'll be exams that are quite hard. You will, you will have a lot of hours. You know, we had at least, you know, 30 to 38 hours every single week, just as many hours as we do in medical school. We had a lot of hours. You have a lot of lectures to go through, you have a lot of tutorials, a lot of uh, lab sessions, there is a lot coming your way. And I don't say that to scare you, I mean to say that to prepare you to not only have the best time of your life, but also, uh, you know, be ready for the workload that is biomedical science. So not only prepare to have the best time of your life, but also prepare to have, you know, the reality of what's coming in biomedical science. And that's something I really wish that I knew before starting. The last thing that I really, really wish I could tell myself beforehand and understand is the importance and the power of starting things early. As I said, in Biomed, you'll have a lot of assignments, you'll have a lot of essays, presentations, loads of coursework to do all the time. So what's really, really important, and I wish I could tell myself this before, was that start things early. Don't leave things for the last minute. And I really had a bad habit of waiting until the last minute, the last week or so, to bang out an essay, sit in the library for the last 24 hours, and hand it in with two minutes to spare before the deadline. And believe it or not, that is quite a common thing in biomed, especially in first year. So if there's one thing that I can honestly say to you guys, is to make sure that as soon as you get the assignment on the day, start it on that day. It will save you so much stress and so much anxiety. And the reason why it's important is because if you start things early, you will finish them early, meaning you have time to review what you wrote, to think of new ideas, to think of how you can add to it, to perfect it, to tighten it, and get yourself that first class that you deserve. You also will have time to do other things, like start the next assignment, you know, spend time with your friends and family. Getting things out of the way has so much power in it. For example, in my final year, we had our dissertation. So we didn't actually start the labs to begin our dissertation in January, but I had the title of my dissertation in December. So rather than starting till January to start the labs and start writing my dissertation, when we had the Christmas holiday in December, I actually started writing my dissertation before we even started the actual dissertation. So by the time we started the lab, by the time we actually reached the point where we were supposed to start our dissertation, I had already written my whole entire introduction, which was around 3,500 words. So that saved me so much time. And when it came to the end of our labs, and we had three weeks off just to write our dissertation, when all my friends were starting just writing their introductions, mine was already done. I had all my introduction done. I had a lot of my results that I've gained in the labs. And now it's finally time to work on the hard part, which was the discussion. My 
supervisor had already seen my introduction. He'd already given me feedback on it. My introduction was very, very good. And after finishing the labs, I had a huge amount of time to work on my discussion, perfect my discussion, give it to my supervisor, receive feedback on it. And starting early on that introduction was literally the difference between me getting a 2-1 and me getting a first class. And I wish I learned that a lot earlier than third year and learned it actually before even starting biomedical science. So those are the five things that I wish I knew before starting biomedical science. I really hope it's not scared you guys and you guys have actually learned something from this. As I said, if you guys want to prepare for biomedical science before starting it, I have all my first year notes uh, in medicine, which cover pretty much the whole first year of biomedical science over on my website. A link to that is down in the description below if you'd like to check it out. But aside from that, I really enjoy these videos and I really want to start making more videos about biomedical science. So if you have any suggestions as to what you guys would like to see in the future, please let me know down in the description below. If you watched the video to this point, I love you. Please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you're subscribed and turn post notifications on and I'll see you guys on the next video.